sucking out your luck, going harder than pain, and that's how you assert dominance. Hey, what's up guys? It's JKK Tag, and I know it's been a fat minute, but today we're bringing back Minor Poison. Quick cycle with this deck really allows you to cycle back to Miners exceedingly fast, allowing you to finish off games in Double Elixir without any issues. This deck really thrives out of counter pushes, so in a lot of situations, especially against decks like Hog Rider, you really want to be going same lane as your opponent. Anyways, if you guys are more interested in the mechanics and the thought process that goes into this deck, definitely go check out my Mastery Miner video, I'll have the link below in the description. Anyways guys, let's go jump straight into ladder and let's assert dominance with my favorite deck in the game. Alright guys, so we got our first game of the day against DSV5D. Oh, so uh, I thought he had an S in there, but it was actually a 5. Oh, he got me. He, he's already won the maneuvers. Dropping the Ice Spirit right now, he's going to have an Ice Spirit as well. Probably going to be a Cycle deck. There we go, so the Archers are placed. We know it's a Cycle deck now. Probably going to be Hog Rider. Going to be dropping our Electro right quick. So if he goes Hog Rider, we have to Inferno it opposite lane. Since we have a push going, we're going to actually eat it with the Miner and see what's up. He's going to Fireball that, and he's going to give me some very nice log value. I'm going to hit this Knight, I'm going to hit the Goblins, I'm going to wait till the last possible second though, because I can actually wait until it crosses the bridge, just to see if he's going to drop a Hog Rider. I would want to catch that if I could. I'm going to drop an Ice Spirit up high, try to redirect and hit his Ice Spirit with that. Then Inferno will end up cleaning up the Hog Rider. No problems, no questions asked, and we are chilling, guys. So the main thing that you really want to be doing against Hog Rider is you really want to defend it with an Electro Wizard and then counter push with that Electro Wizard. You don't want to be dropping an Inferno Tower because the Inferno Tower will stay on your side of the map. If it stays on your side of the map, obviously it's not going to apply any pressure at all. So this dude is actually getting a little bit frisky with me. He's going to be dropping Mortar Hog Rider. And he's going to get finessed in this matchup. There is no way that he even gets... I, I think he might get one mortar hit, but that's about it, guys. No, he doesn't even get a mortar hit. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Go drop Electro. We're going to go drop Knight. We're going to drop Ice Spirit. I think our Electro will end up dying, but I think that the Knight will be a true sir and clean up the Hog Rider with too much damage there. Without too much damage, for sure. I'm going to be dropping a Miner with a Counter Push right now and see if we can make anything happen, because the Knight is going to be crossing the bridge. Should have waited for the knight to get targeted by the tower, but the knight is going to be a true sir. Valiantly hitting the tower. Oh, that damage though. Feels great, man. I really want him to drop goblins so I can log them as well. Not doing it. We're just going to end up logging it anyways to clean up the mortar so it doesn't get another hit. I'm going to drop our inferno tower as well. Also drop a high ice spirit. Assume that we're going to actually have to drop our electro wizard. Not too bad though. Not too shabby. He's going to go drop the mortar right into it. What are those, man? I could have actually uh, could have done that a little bit differently, but it doesn't matter. Keeping the Electro Wizard alive is all that we needed. That is all our needs are in life to keep that Electro alive. Going to go drop our Miner. And this man is going to be a very sad panda because he's not going to catch our Miner. We predicted that, Kappa. And uh, we're going to go drop our knight opposite lane. Dropping the knight opposite lane will actually make the mortar target it. He's going to go drop a hog rider. We're going to drop the inferno tower. Inferno tower is going to clean everything up rather nicely. Oh, this guy is so pissed, man. I can feel it. I can see it. All right, we're going to go for the log. And all we got to do is get two poisons on the tower. And we got the game in the bag, boys. Unfortunately, we can't get a little bit too aggressive with a poison because we knew that he was going to go drop a hog. Uh, we're going to go mix up our minor placements because we can't mess around too much. We've done the same one too often, and that will actually secure our victory. Switching it up like a ninja, saucing out the good game, and let's move on to the next one. This guy is pretty triggered, but he's trying to hide it with his laughs. He's not fooling anyone, though. All right, guys, we got a game against someone with pro in their name, so i got to be scared right now. I'm shaking in my boots. I'm going to be dropping our minor, having the Ice Spirit tank for the tower like a true champion. And, all right, this is looking like a Hog Rider deck after seeing the bats, after seeing the knight. What is he going to do? Okay, he's uh, he's got the sauce. He's got the moves. He's actually got a minor. Definitely not what I was expecting. We're going to be dropping the Electro Wizard, killing the bats immediately, and then also it's going to work on the minor. So we're looking like we're in a good situation. It's probably going to be Mortar after seeing the bats, and there's the Mortar. Or after you see Minor and after you see uh, bats, it's probably going to be one of those decks with Mortar, especially after seeing the Knight. I didn't really assume that he was going to be running a naked Minor deck. Most people don't do that. Only me, I'm just a weirdo like that, I guess. I'm going to be dropping the Skeletons, the redirection from the Mortar, because the Electro Wizard, actually the Mortar didn't even get a single hit right there. So I'm liking how this is looking. The Electro Wizard is going to be spanking him a little bit. He used his Zap, so we're going to try to tank for those Skeletons. As I said before, the little Larrys that could, 
He's getting two or three hits right there. That's astronomical. And the Knight chipping in right there with the chip. This is looking really promising for us at the moment. We're going to be dropping our Ice Spirit because we can't even eat those Steve the Spear Goblin hits. Steve is a little bit vicious and frisky. Sometimes you just got to chill Steve out with Ice Spirit. It's, it's got to happen sometimes. I'm sorry, Steve. We're going to be dropping our Knight, and then we're also going to be dropping our Electro Wizard again. Okay, so he's going to get very frisky with the Minion Horde. We're going to go in for a Poison because we make we got to make sure it doesn't wreck us. Otherwise, the Minion Horde would just devastate our tower. And we're not really about that life. We ended up even clipping the Mortar with a Poison, so we're in a pretty decent situation. He's got Goblin Gang in cycle, so when I go in for a Miner right here, I'm going to go in for a Prelog. I believe, guys. You ready for this? Daddy's going to make it happen. Whew, that was uh, that was juicy. That was so juicy. And he's going to go in for a Mortar. We're going to go in for a Knight. We're going to get ready. Our bodies are prepared for what's about to happen. We're going to go for another Miner on defense. Then we're going to go Poison everything. So we're really not about that life of eating a million damage, bro. Really aren't. He's going to get one Mortar hit, though. That's a lot. Ooh, that is, that is not okay. I'm not about that life of letting that happen. So now we got to punish him. We know he has Goblin Gang in Cycle, so we're going to go in for a Poison. He drops the Minion Horde on top. That's phenomenal for us. We are chilling, boys. I'm going to go drop a Knight on defense because the Skeletons would obviously get zapped. We're going to go drop an Ice Spear to redirect the Miner. Oh, we're going to go in for the fancy Miner placement. Go in for a Poison. Throw out the Sauce. Oh, no. He's got the moves as well. He's got the Rocket, so this might be a draw. I thought I had it in the bag. Remember, I, I don't actually remember Music Master's deck actually having a huge spell like that. So I really thought I had the game clutched out, but this man just whips out the rocket like a champion, and he's probably going to draw it, actually, after seeing that. I don't see any way of either of us winning this. We're actually, I'm going to go drop an Electro Wizard. I'm probably going to try to build up some type of counter push. And as long as I don't get too aggressive, I should be able to win this game or draw it, actually, which is a win in my book. This is a very, very difficult matchup after seeing that he has rocket as well. He's got two win conditions. He's got mortar. He's He's got Miner, and then he's got the Rocket. So he should be able to out-damage me and just win it from the perspective of that. So I'm fine drawing a matchup like this. In latter scenarios, if you ever get a bad matchup, never be afraid to draw it. If you get a bad matchup and you draw it, definitely consider it a win in my book. Drawing bad matchups are just my life, you know? <laughs> I'm going to be dropping the Electro Wizard right on top of the Miner. Kind of a bad decision, actually, because the Minion Horde will get on top, but it's not going to matter too much. Good game. Well played. He's very triggered that he wasn't able to pull that win out. Let's move on to the next game, guys. All right, guys. We've got another game against Vale right now. So we're going to be dropping the Ice Spirit at the bridge. See what he responds with. It's from Evolution, so he's probably going to evolve after this game. He's actually going to be dropping a Golem. At oh, dude. You don't know how to play the game if you drop a Golem like at the back. That's just such a horrible maneuver. Because I could drop an Expo right here and win the game if I was running an Expo. I love Expo. I've done that so many times to people that do this. He deserved to get spanked for that maneuver, guys. Dropping a golem in the back is never a good play. He's going to be rocketing that. What are those, man? Oh, this guy is truly adventurous right now. And it's not actually very good for me to see that. I I'm not going to lie. That is horrible for me. I mean, there are so many things that golem is just a... Golem's really bad to do that early on if your opponent can punish you. But I don't really have a deck or a situation that I was able to punish him. If I was able to go for like a Knight Electro Wizard push off his lane, I feel like he would have really gotten hurt by that. I just didn't really have the cards in cycle. As I said before guys, always counter push with your units. I'm counter pushing with Electro Wizard. The Knight in the right hand lane might just get ignored and it's going to clobber his tower for some serious damage. Oh my gosh, it got like five hits. We're also going to be dropping a nice Spirit. We're going to be trying to cycle back to a Miner right now. And I can do it, because this, this cycle with this deck is absolutely insane. So we're going to go in for a Miner, we're going to go in for the Knight. The Knight is going to be tanking, and that's going to be so much damage on this guy. In fact, I'm going to go in for a Poison right here to clean up the Pump, the Archer, and also do some nice damage to the Mega Minion, so I will not have to deal with that Mega Minion, guys. The left-hand lane for this guy is also in a crippled state, so I don't know what he's going to do to bounce back. If he starts a Golem, I can actually just... Actually, you know what? The best thing for me to do is start an early Inferno Tower. He's going to rocket it for a negative trait, and I'll be able to cycle back to another Inferno Tower. That is definitely going to be my maneuver right here. I'm going to go cycle a Knight. I'm going to cycle my Skeletons. I need to cycle four cards to get back to it, and I'm back to my Inferno already. He's going to be a very sad panda as he sees this, and his push is just going to get stomped right here. I'm going to go drop another Knight to aid our defense. 
And we're gonna have a serious counter push right here, guys, in the right hand lane after defending against this baby dragon, these archers. And we're actually gonna get double, oh my gosh, the Electro Tears, double Electros on the field. The brothers, the dueling brothers on the map. What are they gonna do? He's gonna go drop another, okay, he's getting, he's getting very adventurous right here with the, with the Golems. We're gonna go start with a uh, Inferno Tower high up before he has the Elixir to actually get a rocket and cycle. We're gonna go drop a Poison on defense. The Poison's actually gonna hit the Baby Dragon as well. And we're gonna go drop Electro Wizard. And I think that we're gonna have a pretty nice counter push right here. We're gonna see what he does. We're gonna go drop in the Knight. Then we're gonna go drop our Miner. He's getting so frisky with me right now. I'm not liking this. I don't really need to do anything right here. I can just drop another Electro. Electro will give me much better counter push potential than an Inferno Tower. And uh, I'm liking how this is looking. 43 seconds left though. We still need to get more damage on the field, guys. We still need to get more damage. He's playing so defensive right here. It's crazy. We're gonna have to drop an Ice Spirit as well to make sure that the Electro stays alive. We're gonna go drop Skeletons on the field. We're gonna go drop Log right here, and we're gonna go in for the kill, guys. We're going in. Going insane, actually. We're gonna drop our Poison as well. We need to get a few minor hits. That's all we need. Simple needs in life, boys. We're gonna go in for the Log. The Log to assert the dominance. And that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up the game. We played that pretty well at the end. It was very clutch. 10 seconds left, but we still take the fat dub. Let's move on to the next one, guys. All right, guys, we got another game against Art. Another fun fact about me is I'm a horrific artist. Like, probably the worst one you would ever see in your life. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's probably something that you guys would never want to see. Your eyes would probably bleed after seeing my artwork. Anyways, guys, we're going to be dropping the Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard will end up cleaning the up that. No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, I lied to you as well. I'm also a horrific liar, as you guys can see right there. We'll be dropping a poison on defense and then also dropping skeletons. No need to drop the Inferno Tower. We were chilling, guys. No problems. Santa Claus is only going to get one hit on the tower. <laughs> All right. So we're going to wait and see what he does. We're still at six elixir. I don't really want to play too aggressive. He might drop a Goblin Gang or something. Give me some log value before I actually have to do anything. After seeing the Fireball, after seeing the Giant, it's probably going to be a multi-spell Giant Minor Fireball deck. And there we go. That's exactly what it is. He's got all his damage in the right-hand lane, so I can actually drop the Electro Wizard pretty far back in the left-hand lane and not really have to worry about Fireball damage. If he wants to Fireball this, it's not really going to be a great trade because all his damage is in the right-hand lane. Wait and see what he does. Is he going to do it? Is it in the cards, man? Are you going to do it? Oh, nah. Art didn't do it, guys. I tried to peer pressure him, but he just didn't fall for it. Feels bad, man. We're going to be dropping our Skeletons. We're going to be dropping our Ice Spirit. We're going to be logging everything back. And we're also going to be dropping a Knight. Going to let those bats go hard in the paint in the right-hand lane and not care too much. I don't even know if he's going to be dropping Giant anymore in this matchup. He's going to be logging back my Miner as well. He's taking a play out of my book. I see you. I see you. Oh, the Knight being a true sir. Whacking away in the right-hand lane. Gonna be dropping the Ice Spirit on defense as well. Gonna be zapping us. Not too bad, not too shabby. Gonna be formulating a Knight push. He's gonna fireball that probably, but that fireball, that means he can't do anything on offense then. Gonna be poisoning that Electro Wizard because he dropped it in the vicinity of his tower. Do not understand why. Art, you can't drop a defensive miner. What are those, man? You can't do that. That is a moral sin. That is a uh, that is a cardinal sin dropping the miner on defense, bro. Not something I like to see. Santa Claus is not going to be breaking through, especially when we have an Electro Wizard, even though he's that. Oh, Santa Claus did break through. I, I was sadly mistaken. We're going to be logging on defense, dropping skeletons. The Ice Spirit will redirect the Miner on top of our Knight. Actually, it didn't even have the opportunity to do so. We'll be dropping a preemptive poison, and he doesn't even drop the Night Witch right inside. So, uh, Art got, kind of got spanked, guys. I'm sorry to say. I mean, he kind of had to get punished for that Cardinal Sin. It is against our religion to drop a Miner on defense. Good game, well played, and good luck in the rest of your ladder session art. And that's actually where I'm going to end today's video. And if you guys really like this deck, make sure to check out my Mastering Miner video. It really breaks down all the specific matchups and the key mechanics behind the deck. Thanks for chilling with me, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Peace out.